Welcome to another Kogi video tutorial and this time we will cover collision detection. In this video we will show you how to do simple collision detections of fuse and there are two functions you can use and both of these belong to the few class. So you can basically detect collisions between everything you can display on the screen. To demonstrate this we will just place two shapes on the screen and we react to their collision. Let's start with a simple rectangle as the first few. Let's call it a rect. It's a solid rect with a width of 100 and a height of 100. And let's make it green. So at the moment it's, it's, it's at zero, 0, so let's just move it a bit down and a bit to the right. That's better. As a second few, I will choose a circle. Radius of 20 and let's make it red. So there it is. We won't place it on a fixed coordinate because we just want it to move with our mouse. So let's implement this. For this we add an updater to the circle. Updater is explained in another video which I will link in the description down below. But in short it's just a method which accepts a block of code which is run on every frame which is rendered by the engine. And what we want to do is place the circle via its x and y coordinates to the location of the mouse cursor like this. And to center the circle around the cursor, we just subtract the radius of the circle. So that we have a nicely centered red circle around our mouse location. The next step will be that we want to react when the circle actually collides with this rectangle. As I said earlier, there are two functions for this. One is on collision and the other one is collides with. Let's start with on collision. And let's simply call it on the circle object. It's on collision. And when the collision is de detected, we want to change the color to colors.blue. And as you will be able to see, the circle is already blue before it touches the rectangle in the center. And that's because every collision between every few that's on the screen is detected and the stage itself is a few. So even if we can't see a few here, so no shape or anything, there is already a collision happening. And because of this we have to apply a filter which only detects collisions between views that we actually want to detect. The filter is just a functional parameter we can pass to this on collision function. I will use this lambda expression here. It equals rect so that all collisions are filtered but this one. So it's still red. So the collision with the stage itself is not counting. But when we get into the green rectangle, our view color changes. Let's make it reversible so that our circle will become red when we are out of the rectangle. So it's circle dot color is like colors dot red. So it's red and in here it's blue and then becomes red again when we move outside of the rectangle. So the other function we can use is collides with, which actually returns a boolean. So we have to put it in some kind of evaluation. Because it just returns a boolean, we have to evaluate this expression on every frame that is rendered if we want to copy the behavior we have with on collision. So I will add this check to the add updater block. I will simply call if 
collides with rect and I will just copy this. Let's actually make it violet this time and remove this one. And we should have the same behavior, but it should get violet if we are here colliding with the rectangle. So let me quickly show you how we can check for collisions with multiple views. For this we just copy this, call it rect1 and rect2 and we place this at 300 and we make it blue. So and we will add them to a list. And we can just pass this list here and now both of these views are checked for collisions. So it works on the green one as it did before and it works on the blue one as it did before. So thanks for watching for this small and simple tutorial on collisions and stay tuned for more tutorial videos for Corgi.